हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स विवेक मोयल फ्रॉम विवेक मोयल डॉट इन इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब प्लीज लाइक आवर वीडियोज एंड प्लीज शेयर आवर वीडियोज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड दट हाउ वी कैन सेव द मल्टीपल चेकबॉक्स वैल्यू टू आवर डेटा बेस एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू दट हाउ वी विल अपडेट दैट सेव्ड वैल्यू टू आवर डेटा बेस फॉर दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ चेकबॉक्स लिस्ट पेज हियर so just uh, let me show you the list page here as you can see that we are having a page here in which values are there and action part is there action part is just for editing the uh, saved values if we go to our database go to checkbox as you can see we have three rows here and in c values column we have some values with comma separate so now we will come back to our code part here as you can see we have just included the class here checkbox class and in that checkbox class i have created a function for listing the checkboxes just for this page as you can see list checkbox it takes a parameter that is query this is query and in this let's remove this hmm. in this part you can see that we are just selecting all the check boxes all the values from check box table and this result this will query and it will count the rows that how many rows we got due to this query and if count is less than 1 it will not return anything if it's more than one then it will return the array with the values so it's here as you can see that we created an object of the checkbox class here and by using the object we call the function list checkbox passed nothing and in that list variable we get all the values from the list uh, functions as you can uh, let me show you that how many values we are having for this we will use print r as uh, we use print r because uh, this is an array dollar list is an array as you can see that we have those values in here we'll just remove this part and now here we just count that if list is empty or if list doesn't have anything then it will not return anything if it has the value then for our for each loop will go on and it will write down the new table rows with the c values and a button so you can see a button with edit checkbox page id equals to id edit now we will create the edit checkbox page here edit checkbox in this page we will just take the values using the id that is that will come from our id parameter and by you, uh, by the help of this id we will just check uh, check the check box which are already saved in our database and then we will create a button and a function for submitting the new values in the database with the same id so it will replace the older values with the new values so for this we will just remove this part from here and will remove this part from here uh, i will do one thing i will just take the whole list check box don't get afraid because i will post all the uh, files over my blog and you will get the link in the description of the video so you can download all the files from there so here we have the check box values 
here we have the list of the value now when we click on the edit function as you can see we clicked on the edit function as you can see we have id equals to 1 so now we need only the values which are uh, which is related to the id 1 that is india usa australia so we will just go there and create a or we will just pass on the query here where id equals to dollar underscore get id okay now if we run this you can see that we have only one now we don't need this table anymore we just remove this table part and we just copy the checkboxes and the form values from our index page which we have already created and we just paste it here and if we click again refresh the page and as you can see we have the id in our url but no any values are selected for so now uh, for se getting selected we need the values in an array and then we will check the value with the array values so for now uh, first of all let me check that what kind of values we are having in our list here you can see that we are having the values India USA Australia and we need on the C values okay sorry uh, one more thing x0 as you can see that we are having India USA and Australia one notice is there so just ignore this notice do this and remove India USA Australia but now as you can see we have the values which we have already saved in our database but nothing is checked in the checkboxes so for doing this we will just write down some of the lines for make it working we'll just remove this part and now as we have the values in our dollar list array we will just make an <coughs> array uh, of only the values of that c values so we will create the checkbox values dollar checkbox value equals to explode delimiter this and string is list 0 c values now as you can see that we have used explode function which will which will create the array by use uh, by separating all the values by comma if you want to check then we will just print underscore r checkbox values and just refresh the page and as you can see we are having the array india usa and australia here now we'll go back here we'll just remove this part now we have the values now we'll just show the checked values using our checkbox values so for doing this or for make it working we will create a uh, we will just write down echo dollar checked value okay it will tell you uh, it will tell us that it's checked or not we'll just write everyone down here and we will just change the name one and two and three and four if we just refresh it nothing will gonna happen everything will be the same so now we will just do one more thing here we will use our if condition here 
if in array needle is our value if in array we found india in our checkbox values array then dollar checked value equals to checked equals to checked okay let's refresh this page and now for everyone we will do the same and five one it's usa here oh just to see h e c k e d c h e just copy paste copy paste usa australia europe and italy and if we just refresh the page as you can see we have india here okay and now we will just change the values to one two and three and four and as you can see that we have india usa and australia checked and there is notice so just will remove the notice from here i will just error reporting we all to do Just a minute. Let me just copy it from somewhere else. I forgot the Let's see user notice. Sorry. As now, we'll just remove all the notices. As you can see, we are having India, USA, Australia as checked. Europe and Italy is. are not checked because e india usa australia we all the values are in our c values so let's move on to our the next level that is updating the values so for updating the values we will need the same id while updating the values so for here you can use the hidden field or you can use this part because we are using only the single value so we will just use get id we will use just get id and now for this we will use we will create the function no, uh, we will just use if etc Use a set dollar underscore post submit. When we submit the form, we get all the values, and by using this, we will also get the ID here. So if dollar country value equals to dollar underscore post. country now we have all the values in here but for saving the values we will just implode this implode by using the glue this one and for the pieces part we will use our country and now the country value is having the values 
we will just call our function for updating the values so dollar checkbox class uh, oh, right now we don't have the update function so we will just quickly create a update function here public function update checkbox we'll just dollar value dollar id dollar update equals to update checkbox set c values equals to dollar value where id equals to dollar id dollar result equals to dollar this query dollar update if everything works fine if results then return updated else return error okay we have created our update function now go back here we have update checkbox here and we'll just echo this so that we will get alert that it's updated or not and for the id we can use this get id so we will just refresh this page and uh, we will use our it set function before the list so that we will get the latest from the list so we'll just click on europe and submit as you can see we got the alert as updated and europe is checked and if we go to our database you can see that we have the europe in our value hope you like my video if you have any questions if you have any suggestions or if you have anything other than this idea that how we can do this checkbox checked from the database if you have anything else solution please comment below or please send me the solution i will create another video for this hope you enjoy the video please share my video please like my video please subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe it just took a single second for you click on the red icon thank you for watching thank you